Dario and I'm Sabiha Samar. Here are today's top stories. In Uzbekistan's motor vehicle market, July saw a notable increase in activity with overall sales rising by 17.4% from the previous month, totaling nearly 102,000 units. However, year-on-year figures reveal a decline of 29.9% as reported by the Center for Economic Research and Reforms. Passenger car sales reached 92,000 units in July, marking an 18.6% increase from June, although this represents a drop of over 30% compared to last year. Notably, the regions of Namangan, Kashkadarya and Andijan led in sales growth with increase of 52%, 36% and 29% respectively. In primary market, passenger car sales rose by 17% in July, yet still showed a 12% year-over-year decline. Sales of domestically produced new cars continued to climb, increasing by 17.5%, though this was offset by a 6% annual decrease. The foreign car segment experienced a 9.6% rise in sales, with approximately 2,600 units sold in July. Despite this, the segment faced a significant 46.5% year-over-year drop. Meanwhile, the electric vehicle market saw robust growth with sales reaching 3,400 units in July, an increase of over 390 vehicles compared to June and a 28% rise year-over-year. Year. The primary market for electric cars saw an 11.2% monthly increase, while the secondary market experienced an 18.2% rise. Notably, sales of used electric vehicles have tripled over the past year, signaling a significant shift in consumer preferences in this segment. Kazakhstan's renewable energy sector has seen significant growth in 2023 with the total green energy production reaching 6.6 .6 billion kilowatt hour marking an impressive 31.1% increase compared to the previous year. This surge was primarily driven by the wind energy sector which generated 3.7 billion kilowatt hour a substantial 63.3% rise year over year. In addition, small hydropower plants contributed 949.1 million kilowatt hour reflecting a 16% increase from 2022. This growth highlights the ongoing development and integration of small-scale hydropower facilities into Kazakhstan's energy mix. However, not all renewable sources followed this upward trend. Solar energy production saw a slight decrease of 1.5%, totaling 1.8 billion kilowatt hour in 2023. More notably, biogas energy production experienced a significant decline with output dropping by 52.1% to 1.4 million kilowatt hour. Despite these challenges, the overall increase in renewable energy production highlights Kazakhstan's continued shift towards more sustainable and environmentally friendly energy sources. Kazakhstan's agricultural exports are gaining international attention, particularly after a pack of dry day records from the country was spotted on a US supermarket shelf, sparking interest on social networks. This spotlight on Kyrgyz products has prompted further efforts to boost the country's agricultural exports. The United Nations Development Programme, in partnership with Erkin Consult, is working to support producers of dried fruits, berries and nuts in the Batken, Jalalabad and Isikul provinces. The initiative aims to improve value chains and enhance the competitiveness of Kyrgyz products in the global markets. Makham Adimin Anarbayev, an expert at Erkin Consult, highlighted several challenges faced by local producers, including the lack of essential certifications, outdated equipment, and inconsistent production standards. These issues limit the export potential of Kyrgyz products. To address these challenges, the project has selected seven export-oriented companies for support through an open competition. These companies will receive training, expert consultations, infrastructure improvements and assistance in accessing new markets. The initiative also focuses on gender equality, the inclusion of people with disabilities and environmental sustainability. Aisilu Mambet Kazieva, project coordinator for Aid for Trade in Central Asia at UNDP Kyrgyzstan stated, We aim to expand economic opportunities for producers and modernize production technologies to add value to their product. Funded by the government of Finland, this project is expected to create 100 new jobs with a particular emphasis on employing women. Over 120 farmers and processing specialists will receive training as part of this initiative, which seeks to open new international markets for Kyrgyz agricultural products. Canada has announced a $2.2 million donation to the Afghanistan Humanitarian Fund, boosting its ongoing support for the crisis-stricken country. The United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs acknowledged the contribution, which adds to the $15.8 million Canadian dollars Canada has provided since 2019. 
This funding comes at a critical time as Afghanistan faces a severe humanitarian crisis with approximately 23.7 million people in need of assistance. Climate change, natural disasters and the return of refugees from neighboring countries have worsened the situation, placing immense strain on the resources. Despite significant international aid, including $7 billion over the past three years, Afghanistan's economic challenges persist. The United Nations has appealed for over $3 billion to support humanitarian efforts in 2020. 24. But as of July, only 23% of that goal has been met. Canada's latest donation highlights the urgent need for continued international support to address the escalating crisis in Afghanistan. That's all for today's news. Stay tuned for more updates.